Hello and welcome back to this Road to Prestige, Road to Commando, Road to 55, whatever you want to call it. I'm McFees and today we're playing Team Deathmatch on Cargo. So, let's kick this off with the MP7, most probably. Yes, okay, right. MP7. Connection is good, apparently. Apparently. We'll see that. Okay, we're pushing up to spawn. Gentlemen. Going down the right hand side. It's right hand side of our spawn. Push through the building. Just make sure no one's rushing our sides. And as we see, one guy there. First blood. And he hits me with a shock charge, I believe that's called. Second blood. Third blood, actually. But second kill. We're two piece and getting a little streak going on here. Two kills. Okay, we're pushing up a bit more now towards their spawn. I guess this is their spawn. It's a tiny map. And apparently this map assembles itself and uh, changes throughout the course of the level by playing it. UAV there. Let's call that in. Let me get a second. Another kill. That's just four kill we're on four kill streak we're on the levels. A fork hill streak we was on. Four or five, I'm not sure. I don't think it was five because we didn't get a bloodthirsty medal. But who knows? Okay, so called in UAV, we see lots of red dots here. I'm getting five from behind. Take this guy out. I'm cover. No gosh. Too eager. Oh well. My fault they're not deaf. Most of the deaths so you'll probably see are my fault. Or just getting out gunned. And then obviously while you when you play in the game and hit the moment, it's like, oh this is bullshit, yes, lag. Guns overpowered, modded controller, this ping sucks. But nine times out of ten, it is usually the player's fault for their death. And as I say, in the heat of the moment, you're, you're going to look for excuses because obviously you're perfect in your own eyes. But, ah, uh, focus too much on the betty instead of waiting to see if there's someone there. Noob. Oh well. Yeah, as I say, it's in the heat of the moment, you know, you're just looking for a rational explanation. Because what you think you did was like okay, but. If you watched it back, you'd be like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or maybe I sh if I'd gone this way instead of that way. You know, ifs and buts, but... It is what it is, and you can't change it. But the one thing you can take away from watching your gameplays back is learning. Learn and adapt. And also try and watch some other players' videos if you can. And I fell into the seat. Awesome. Yeah, try and watch some other players' videos. Not like the ones that go like, oh, 102 for do, because that's not really going to teach you anything. Try watching some um, MLG players, maybe. Oh, God. That <laughs> was a clusterfuck. Shock charge and a bounce and bet. Yeah, so like, try watching some like maybe LG players, pro amateur players, and see how they play, prepare for um, the scrims and whatnot, and try to adopt it into your play. I know it may sound stupid, like well they only play like variants and objectives. So team deathmatch is an objective. The objective is to get 75 kills before the enemy team. That is your objective. So yeah. So, if you're struggling Hostile for some inspiration, up. just uh, search YouTube for that. There are many players Hostile out there with channels. Hostile too UAV many above. to mention, actually. So, not going to mention any names because if you start mentioning names, it's like, well, what about this guy? What about that guy? This guy's better. I think this guy sucks. So, Friendly it's UAV up to you, your above. own preference, whichever you stumble upon across. Whatever, but I advise that. In any games where it requires strategy and thinking, quick thinking on your feet and stuff like that, 
best way to learn is to watch your shit back and watch other people play who are better than you and uh, try to adopt what they're doing into your playstyle. Don't change your playstyle completely unless you think, well, yeah, maybe I just need to completely rework this whole thing. Because how you play, that's how you, that's the most comfortable thing to you, isn't it? Obviously, because you're playing that style, but if it's not working out for you, try to incorporate little tiny things, different things, like more map awareness. Um... Oh, I'm in there. Uh, yeah, more map awareness, lane spawns, and stuff like that. Little tiny things that take a couple of hours, day or two to learn, will help you no end in the long run and probably improve your whole game. So yeah, that's enough <laughs> of me going on about that. So, back on board with me here in the game. Just trying some sniping. Fail miserably there. Don't really have a sniper class set up. That guy got a nice line of sight on me. Scoped him quickly and killed me. Timeline in jeopardy. Pick it up. Okay. I'm, I don't know what sniper I'm using. I think it's the default one that the game gives you. Hostile UAV above. A nice shot there. That guy didn't think I would be able to get him, but he doesn't know. I'm McFee's. And I will kill you, given the chance. Just saying. Don't always wait though, but I'll try. God darn, I'll try. I've no clue what's going on in this map. Really confused. Of which ways, which, and etc. Oh, hello. Oh, got it. Nice. Yeah. As you can see, we lost it by 10 points. So I went 10 and 13. You failed to accomplish the mission profile. Uh, oh, down. well. As you see, this guy pulls out the M tower. There's a guy trying to do acrobatics there. He probably should have died, the guy that got the final kill cam, but it is what it is. So. That's it for this video guys, I have been McFees, if you liked the video please leave a like, a comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.